I'm Joe Augustinelli, and on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, we'll introduce you to a pediatric practice celebrating their 35th anniversary. What has kept them going all these years, and what lies ahead for continued growth in the next 35 years or so? This is Putting Possibility into Practice, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and welcome to this episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. If you are a new listener, we are glad you found us, and we invite you to subscribe to our podcast on your platform of choice. We'll go into all those platforms as we conclude today's show. And if you are a returning listener, thanks once again for tuning in. We are happy you have once again joined us for an episode. And on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, here at Greenway Health, we always like to celebrate the many successes of our customers that we are proud to partner with, and especially when they celebrate some big milestones. And over at Meyer Pediatrics, they are celebrating their 35th anniversary, which um, without getting into too many uh, details of my age, well, uh, um, I was... uh, I've got, I'm have got. i five years ahead of Meyer Pediatrics, so you can do the math as to what birthday I'll be celebrating a little bit later this year, but 35 years, uh, Mayor Pediatric has been serving their community, and I, I welcome Kristen Silver. She's the practice administrator over at Mayor Pediatrics. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good. Uh, congratulations to you and the entire team on, on your 35th anniversary over there. Thank you. It's um, it's really a, a tremendous achievement. I mean, not only for Dr. Meyer, but, you know, for the staff and, and for our community. Um, it's, it's been a lot of fun, um, you know, celebrating this with him and coming up with lots of different ways to, you know, to show off a little bit. So. And aside from the 30, 35th uh, anniversary, tell us a little bit more about the practice, um, you know, where you guys located, size of the practice, and maybe some of those extra activities that you're uh, just uh, hinted on to celebrate the 35th anniversary. Sure. Um, First, I just want to say thank you for inviting me to participate in, you know, in this podcast. This is a first for me, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, uh, Dr. Meyer's office is in Sarasota, and we're in the heart of downtown, which is a great location. Um, We're very busy. Um, We have three providers, um, Besides Dr. Meyer, I have two mid-level or nurse practitioners, um, both female. Um, the reason I mention that is um, it's important as kids get a little bit older that they want to sometimes see a doctor of their same gender, you know, when it comes time for physicals and stuff like that. So, you know, we're happy to offer that to our patients and families. You know, besides practicing for 35 years, Dr. Meyer has um, done a lot of stuff for the community, outreach, and sponsored, and been the team doctor for the baseball team at Sarasota High School, and, um, you know, he's just been an integral part of the community for a long time. You know, in this day and age, it's it's hard for practices to get to such a milestone like 35 years. So, I mean, you talked about being busy. How do you guys stay on top of the changing healthcare landscape and still continue to provide great patient care? Well, I can tell you that with complete confidence, the number one reason is that Dr. Meyer is an excellent pediatrician. Um, He has a stellar reputation. Beyond that, he's probably the smartest person that I know personally, Um, but he's mild-mannered and and patient. Um, He has a natural ability to just create calmness when he walks into an exam room. Kids and moms love that. Um, Families trust him totally. And I think another part of having that kind of longevity is um, about our staff. And we've all worked together for many, many years. In fact, it's sort of a rarity these days in medical offices to find the kind of longevity that we have. Um, Dr. Meyer's nurse just celebrated her 20th anniversary last week, so that's a pretty big milestone in and of itself. Um, I've got 16 years on board, and um, the only person that we have that has less than three years is is just someone that I hired three years ago. So, I mean, I think that that's really a testament to the culture in the office. Um, You know, we just, we love our job, and Dr. Meyer makes it easy, that's for sure. And it's interesting you just brought up a couple of those points there. Just recently this week, we had brought uh, we had um, published in our Knowledge Center on our website a, a blog that talked about burnout in the healthcare industry. But obviously, for you guys, you guys love what you do every day, continue to grow, and, and have been there uh, quite a long time. So it's good to see you guys uh, uh, certainly uh, bucking the trend. Um, how does yeah. Meyer Pediatrics partner with Greenway Health? Um, and I just wanted to add one other 
point to, to the longevity piece is that, you know, in our office, we try to maintain a work environment where everybody feels respected. And I think that, that um, that's evident because I think that that gets paid forward to our patients. Um, when a, a mom walks into the office with a sick baby on her, her hip and she's greeted with a friendly, a happy face, um, that's just priceless. And um, beyond that, the education and training for all staff keeps us, you know, on top and keeps us going. And I guess I can kind of segue into the partnering with Greenway because that's one of the main things, one of the most important things about Greenway that I like is, is the training um, for staff and um, the ease of access to it. So, and what, pro what products are you currently uh, utilizing Greenway Health for in the practice? Um, yeah, we partner with Greenway um, in lots of different ways. <clears throat> Um, Prime Suite is the, the, the software that we actually are using daily, but we also use a lot of the um, add-on services that Greenway offers through its partners in the marketplace. We've had great success with almost all of them. Um, it really makes things easier for us. We use the patient portal um, for bi-directional communication, appointment scheduling, lab results. We also use direct messaging with UpDoc which is actually uh, right in the software, which is really easy to use. And we recently added a new one called Rectangle Health, which allows us to cr uh, process credit card payments, and the payment is directly posted into Prime Suite, which is a big time saver for my front office. So that's great. And I think you touched on this a little bit, but, um, you know, how does a vendor such as Greenway and our marketplace partners assist with the growth of your practice and contribute to its overall success? You know, Joe, it's interesting because for our office, it's really not about growth. Um, we've experienced times where we couldn't even accept new patients. You know, we had to put a hold on it just for short periods of time, sort of while we would catch our breath. But Greenway helps us to be successful because it allows us to work more efficiently with improved workflow processes that are, you know, easily found and recommended and, and can be customized for you. Um, we have better patient outcomes with the help of templates that I've been able to customize. Um, from the technology perspective, Greenway keeps us relevant and up-to-date with new and unfortunately needed technology. And, you know, I'm always seeing new stuff in the marketplace, lots of tools to help with practice management. And probably the single most important thing, though, is the access because now patients have a lot more access today than, than they've ever had. And I find that generally they're more engaged with healthcare because it's so easy to access, and I think that that's a, a good thing. Um, you know, parents can now log into the portal at 2 o'clock in the morning in their jammies if they want, you know, to print a vaccination record or make an appointment request. So the access uh, helps us tremendously in terms of productivity because it cuts down on back and forth phone calls between nurses and front office and patients. So we're able to meet the needs of our patients much quicker than ever before. And what uh, challenges would you say face, you know, maybe pediatric practices and even your practice on a daily basis in this day and age? Yeah, and I, think I think we'll talk a little bit about that. I think, you know, while there are multiple challenges, Probably the biggest challenge and one of the most recent and ongoing challenges, not only for us but a lot of practices, is, you know, the additional work that comes with meeting the demands of all this regulatory reporting, you know, and I'm referring to value or merit-based incentive programs, you know, like MIPS or HEDIS or Meaningful Use or NCQA. So, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with, with those um, measures and programs because while, you know, you can receive incentives, it really creates a lot of extra work and reporting. So, you know, constantly more is being required from doctors and, and the office staff, of course, who support them. You know, we've, we've had to support multiple interfaces to, you know, public health entities and other doctor's offices and patients. And, and all while doing that, we have to maintain, you know, certain security and privacy standards. And so it can become complicated and tricky and um, sometimes really complicated to navigate. So, and, and also the technology is expensive. You know, all that stuff, all those add-ons cost money. So um, it, can be, it can be challenging trying to figure out how to balance it all and, you know, continue to, to stay in business. <clears throat> 
And what goals does the practice uh, have for um, continued success in 2019 and beyond in the next 35 years, perhaps? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I hope Dr. Meyer is still practicing in 35 years. Of course, that'll put me at, you know, 85 or something um, without giving my age away. Um, uh, you know, generally speaking, of course, you know, the mission statement and the goal is the same. It's to, you know, provide the best health care that we can. Um, for all of our patients, you know, from birth all the way up to 21 years old. Um, but for me, looking forward, I'm going to work on getting the NCQH accreditation for our practice because it is the gold standard, um, but that's a, a lot of work. Um, but I know that with Greenway, you know, there is the practice administrator dashboard and all the, you know, the analytics that, you know, that will help me to make sure that I'm staying on track with it. So, while it's a daunting task, it's certainly not impossible with, you know, with help from Greenway. Um, and, of course, I'm looking forward to um, the new platform that Greenway is going to be, I guess, revealing soon, which is the Polaris Project, I think, is, is the name of it. So I'm kind of excited to learn more about that. You are you are correct on that, yeah, and, and certainly more to come on Project Polaris as we uh... – Go towards here uh, towards the end of 2019. So we look forward to that and continuing to partner with your practice. And we're excited to hear about your guys' anniversary and all your continued success. And uh, we certainly thank you for your uh, partnership and wish everybody uh, uh, their continued success and, and all the best moving forward. That's great, Joe. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. And once again, that was Kristen Silver of Meyer Pediatrics in Sarasota, Florida. She is the practice administrator. They're celebrating. A big anniversary, 35 years uh, this year in practice. We've talked a little bit on how we are proud to partner with them and have helped them uh, get to this big milestone and hopefully the next big milestone down the road. So I want to thank Kristen again for joining me on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. And for more information on the uh, products that we discussed during this episode, I invite you to visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. And as I mentioned in the introduction, if you have not yet done so, I also invite you to subscribe to our podcast and you'll receive notifications each week when new episodes are published. And you can find our podcast on Apple iTunes, Google Play Podcasts, Stitcher, FM.Player, SoundCloud, Libsyn, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and look for more platforms coming soon. I'm Joe Agostinelli, the Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this has been another episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. Thanks for listening.